Hello everyone, welcome back. Tom with Cape of Fetish. Today I'm going to talk about 20 favorite rock instrumentals. So without further ado, oh by the way, this is not a ranking. They're just random picks, some favorites. So without further ado, let's start it off with Jeff Beck's Bex Bolero of Truth from 1968. Uh, a song that was recorded two years prior in 1966. You had Keith Moon on drums, Nicky Hopkins on piano, you had John Paul Jones on bass, Jimmy Page on 12-string electric, and you've got, uh, of course, Jeff Beck on lead guitar. You've got that killer bolero beat going on and the rhythm going on with Jimmy Page. The incredible guitar line from Jeff Beck goes along, and then all of a sudden it breaks into that just crazy middle section with Keith Moon. And I, I supposedly he broke a mic during that part, that part where he yells. Then it goes into this really majestic part in the middle, which I really love, really majestic and atmospheric. Then it goes back into the bolero beat, an incredible song, incredible instrumental, and it's only two minutes and 50 seconds. And it's um, probably one of the earliest kind of hard rock, true hard rock instrumentals. So love, love Beck's bolero. Another great one. I could have picked Jessica, but I really love uh, In Memory of Elizabeth Reed off of uh, Idlewild South and the Almond Brothers, written by Dickie Betts. I've always found this song really uh, mysterious and ethereal sounding. Love the Hammond B3 by Greg Allman. Um, and of course, uh, the guitar playing from Betts and, um, and uh, Dwayne Allman, phenomenal. And, uh, you know, uh, Betts is just such a, an, uh, I wouldn't say he's an underrated player, but not a lot of people talk about him in the same breath as they do about Dwayne. I think he's just a really phenomenal guitar player and uh, very, very tasty what he put, what he lays down. I mean, if you listen to that Fillmore East album, he's just so many tasty things he does. And this is no exception. Uh, In Memory of Elizabeth Reed is just a fantastic, just really um, dreamy kind of, kind of, kind of instrumental. And, and then it picks up too in parts, but yeah, always loved In Memory of Elizabeth Reed off of Idlewild South. Going on to something different here, uh, David Bowie's low album, Side 2, I've mentioned in the past, I love the instrumentals on that side. I could have picked any of the four, but I really love Art Decade, the way that comes in, that melody, it's just so enchanting, really great stuff, just a, just a phenomenal record all around, with the first side being kind of these real um, oddball pop songs, and then Side 2 being these kind of soundscapes. But Art Decade, love Art Decade, off low from Bowie from 1977. And of course, Jimi Hendrix, third, from, third Stone from the Sun, from Are You Experienced? What a track. Never get tired of this. That, that line, you'll never hear surf music again. Love that. Um, and just all the stuff that's going on. I'm sure there's several, several layers of and tracks of guitars going on. I love uh, his, you know these vocal effects going into the background, and then that main guitar line, that melody, just an amazing, amazing track. Um, so influential. Um, I, I saw Stevie Ray Vaughan do it, a, a, a version of this back in 83 on some video years ago. Pretty, pretty good. But you just, just really can't beat Hendrix's version on Are You Experienced? Phenomenal third stone from the sun from Hendrix. Another oddball one I really like is from the Velvet Underground. It's off their um, compilation album, Another View. These are tracks that were unreleased. Not a real solid listen, this album. A few good tracks, but I really like the instrumental uh, Right Into the Sun. Really, really cool song. Not a whole lot going on there, just a lot of repeats of the melody and stuff, but it has a really cool vibe. So I decided to put that in the list. I've always liked Right Into the Sun. This is off of Another View from Velvet Underground. I think it came out in the mid-80s, I believe. Another great one I love is off of Frank Zappa's Hot Rats album, uh, Peaches, and Peaches and Regalia. I mean, the whole album is instrumentals, but that one, the melody of that is so killer. And it kind of reminds me of this Canterbury band, Hatfield of the North. And this came out way before that, but it just kind of has this kind of real um, textural quality to it, melodic-wise and, and such. But yeah, love this album too. Um, over the years, this album has really grown on me. Um, uh, all six songs are just killer. What a great player Zappa was. And uh, Peaches and Regalia, just incredible song. So that's another great one I love. I've mentioned this one in previous videos. I got to mention it again. 
The last song on Procol Harum's first album, uh, Repent While Purges, great showcase of Matthew Fisher's um, Hammond B3 organ, very dramatic, just incredible stuff. You can almost hear it in church. It's so, it's so majestic. So that's another one I love. I've always been a big fan of uh, the song uh, Let's Go For A While, the instrumental uh, Pet Sounds. This is also the B-side of the Good Vibrations single in 1966. Has this kind of lounge kind of vibe, kind of a Bach rec, Bach rec, a back rec, Burt back rec kind of vibe. Yeah. Oh, and then, and also Pet Sounds. The title track is cool, but Let's Go Away for a While just has this really cool laid back vibe and all the different weird instruments playing and sounds and orchestra and, and such. Really, really great. Um, another great one, though it's not on this album, but it was released around the time of this album only as a single, is uh, the song Albatross by Fleetwood Mac. This is their first album. It's not on this album. It's just only released as a single. And surprisingly, for an instrumental, it hit way high on the charts in England. It didn't really do anything here. But I think the Beatles uh, had a little bit of influence from that song with the song Sun King on Abbey Road. And uh, I, I love Albatross. Just uh, incredible vibe. Incredible. Another great one starts off the John Barleycorn Must Die album by Traffic is Glad. Love this track. Uh, love the, uh, the sax by Chris Wood and just the whole the piano, that kind of, uh, how would you say, kind of New Orleans kind of style piano going on from Steve Winwood. And sometimes you, in, during the song, I've always noticed there's sometimes Chris Wood doesn't hit a particular note. He comes in just a tad late, which kind of adds to the, to the whole, you know, the whole vibe of the song it's great and this is such a great album anyway but what a great track to start off a perfect record you've got glad freedom rider empty pages stranger to himself john barleycorn that that track is so amazing and then uh every mother's son yeah great great album and a great instrumental there glad by traffic another really off the beat type of track that i've always loved is off the young bloods album elephant mountain a song called on sir francis drake it has this really cool electric piano going on and some really cool drumming by John Bauer. And I think Banana, the guitarist, is playing electric piano on the track. Then it goes into this, it kind of stops in the middle, goes into this boogie-woogie thing on, on the outro. But always love the vibe of this track. Great stuff. If you've never heard this album, this is an amazing record. Just really underrated late 60s album from the Youngbloods. Has some killer tracks on here, Darkness, Darkness, um, a great song by Jesse Colin Young, Sunlight, great folk rock tune. But yeah, a great album and a great instrumental. I've always loved it since a child. On Sir Francis Drake off Elephant Mountain from the Youngbloods. Another great one is from Booker T and the MGs. The song is Tight at Time. Whoops. Time is Tight. Time is Tight from 1968. Great, great instrumental with Dennis Duck and Steve Cropper. Great little organ going on in there. And if you haven't heard it, uh, The Clash do a great version on this mini LP. Black Market Clash, they do a great version too of Time is Tight. It's just a, one of my all-time favorite instrumentals. And I thought I'd throw in a little Maha Vishnu Orchestra too. I love their first two albums and I especially love the title track of Birds of Fire. God, the first time I heard this, blew my blew me away just absolutely blew me away I, there's really no way to describe it you've got um just incredible guitar going on from john mclaughlin everybody else just kicking ass billy cobham on drums love birds of fire another great one from jethro tall Bury off the stand-up album always love that that flute that melody good stuff Another great one is off of Genesis Selling England by the Pound. It's a song sandwiched right between Battle of Epping Forest and the epic cinema show on side two. The song is called After the Ordeal. It starts off with this really cool piano part by Tony Banks and goes on for a little bit. And then it, and it switches into this more kind of slow beat rock vibe with this great guitar lead from Steve Hackett. Always love this track. It's kind of like, kind of like, um, a little intermission between or a little intermission before the epic um uh cinema show starts so always love that track on selling england by the pound from 1973. um 
The Fleet Foxes have two really great albums. Uh, the first one and this second one here came out in 2011, Helplessness Blues. There's such a nice variety of folk rock on this album. It's really, I really, really think this album is a masterpiece. And there's a really great instrumental on here called, halfway through the album, called The Cascades, which is really outstanding. If you've never heard this album, give it a listen. There is just incredible, uh, just incredible surprises throughout this record. Um, a lot of different styles going on, melodies, a lot of different changes in the songs. Um, I, there was a period, I, I, I bought this album back in, I think, the beginning of 2016, and I couldn't stop listening to it for months and months. And uh, highly recommend it if you haven't heard it. And the song on here, instrumental, is called The Cascades from Fleet Foxes. Helplessness Blues is the title of the album. Another oddity is <clears throat> off the Kill City record by Iggy Pop and James Williamson. I'm a big fan of riffs. I love riffs. And this is just an instrumental. And it's basically the same riff playing over and over. And um, I just love this riff. It's called Night Theme. And then there's a reprise after it as well. So check this out if you haven't heard it. Um, the rest of the album just rocks, but this, this is kind of a little break from it. And it's called Night Theme. Good stuff from a uh, nice little lick from James Williamson going over and over into a reprise because it's only about a minute and something long. So yeah, you need a reprise for this, this track. So great stuff. And then, um, of course, I got to put um, some Santana in there. Samba Pati. Is that how you say it? Samba Pati. From the Braxis. God, I always love this track. I love Carlos Santana's Carlos Carlos Santana's uh tone on his guitar. I don't know how he gets that tone. It's really unique, unlike anybody else's. Um, and such a beautiful melody on this track, and the way it kind of builds up a little bit at the end with the congas and everything, just fantastic. I love it, love it. And another one, too, is off of uh, Texas Flood from Stevie Ray Vaughan, a tribute to his wife, Lenny, a track titled Lenny. Kind of has this kind of Hendrix vibe. Kind of reminds me of kind of May This Be Love of Are You Experienced? Kind of that kind of tone and that kind of vibe, but just love this beautiful tune. Lenny off Texas Flood. And then uh, what else do we have? And, you know, the Beatles should have done a few more instrumentals. I've always loved flying off Magical Mystery Tour. Really cool little melody and uh, nice psychedelia going on there. So, yeah, those are 20. Just 20 I threw at you there. Hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, please do it. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Throw your favorite instrumentals in the comment section. I'd like to know what people listen to. And uh, take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.